What's going on guys? So you've been asking me a lot about these two laptops. Asus TUF-F15 with 105 watts TGP RTX 3070 and Acer Predator Helios 300 with 140 watts RTX 3060. In this video, I won't be fully reviewing each of them, but I will help you decide which one is right for you. I think it's gonna be quick. So both laptops are extremely powerful packing all the latest hardware inside. Newest 12th gen Intel CPUs, same amount of upgradable DDR5 type of RAM, upgrade kits are pinned in the description box, 4th gen SSDs, excellent build quality, comfortable keyboards, and so on. But the main difference lies in three things, their screens, terminals, and GPUs. I will answer the main question right away. Even considering the difference in power between these two graphics cards, a 105 watts RTX 3070 pumps out more FPS in games than a 140 watts RTX 3060. So yeah, it is a more powerful GPU, but the difference is not that significant and don't even think of closing this video yet cause we'll get to the actual gaming performance comparison in just about a minute. Before that, I also want to mention that the screen of Acer Predator Helios 300 is streets ahead of the Dash F15 panel. It has much higher brightness, significantly wider ranges of sRGB and anti-SC gaming coverage, better view angles and slightly higher refresh rate, providing a much more pleasant overall experience using it. When the screen of Dash F15 is only suitable for gaming, actually all sorts of gaming including really intense games like Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Valorant and Fortnite because it has really fast response time and maybe handling some personal tasks, the panel of Acer laptop also allows you to work on creative projects like making designs, editing photos and videos, creating ads, websites and so on, which you could potentially turn into side hustle for example or use it for your own business. I would always prefer a laptop with just slightly less powerful GPU but decent screen because it gets me that flexibility. Now let's get back to the GPUs. Unfortunately, I don't have these devices on hand right now but I tested them in the past and these are the numbers they get you in different titles at full HD resolution with the graphic settings maxed out and as you can see the difference is just about 10-15% to 15 which is not that much. Both laptops provide wonderful performance and if you switch settings to high instead of ultra, the frame rate increases dramatically. You can comfortably live stream any game and play VR titles on each of the machines and while you're comparing numbers, both Asus and Acer handle heat well. They don't overheat and throttle which is great, but the situation changes if you switch their performance preset from balanced to high performance. I would say that mostly because of slimmer form factors, sometimes Dash F15 gets a little too hot and you might experience some insignificant FPS drops while Acer remain confidently stable and highly powerful. Anyway, I don't think it's that important cause these are laptops in first place and you will want them to stay portable so you'll need nice battery life and that's why you won't be using this high performance mode. My last word is. If you're only buying a laptop for gaming and studying, get Asus tuf f 15 because it'll get you slightly better performance and more pleasant experience in games. If you're also gonna use the device in other spheres for coding or creative work for example, then Acer Predator Helios 300 is your choice because its screen is something you will truly enjoy and it is not so far behind in terms of power. I think it's a better balanced laptop between these two and if I had to choose one, I'd definitely pick Acer. Links to both laptops are in the description box down below, those are the best offers on the market. I really hope I helped you with this difficult choice. Leave your likes, follow our telegram channel, deals of the day if you want to be the first to know about offers like this and this and see you guys in the next video.